nouns are used to name one item or many items. When a noun is singular, it refers to one person, place, or thing. Lion, flower, and girl are singular nouns. There is one of each item, one lion, one flower, and one girl. Nouns can also show that an item belongs to someone. Are there items in your home that are just yours? Toys? Clothes? A favorite stuffed animal? These are your possessions. The items belong to you. A possessive noun is a noun that shows that something belongs to someone or something. This ownership is shown in writing by adding an apostrophe and the letter S to a possessive singular noun. If a lion has a cub, the cub belongs to the lion. To show ownership, add an apostrophe and an S to the end of the noun. Lions is a possessive noun, the lion's cub. If you did not add an apostrophe, the word would be a plural noun and have an entirely different meaning. It is very important to include the apostrophe when you are writing singular possessive nouns. Here are some more possessive singular nouns. The teacher's chalkboard. The soccer player's ball. The car's wheels. The tree's leaves. Teacher, player, car, and tree are all singular nouns that name just one person or thing. Something belongs to each of them. Notice that an apostrophe and the letter S is added to the end of each noun to show that it is possessive. The blanket belongs to the baby. Baby is a singular noun. To show ownership of the noun blanket, add an apostrophe and an S. The baby's blanket. Babies is a possessive noun. The nest belongs to the owl. Who owns the nest in this sentence? The owl owns the nest. There is only one owl, so add an apostrophe and an S to the end of the word owl to make it a possessive noun, the owl's nest. Marcy bought an ice pop at the store. Who owns the ice pop? Marcy owns the ice pop. Since Marcy is a singular noun, add an apostrophe and an S to the end of her name to show that the ice pop belongs to her, Marcy's ice pop. Some singular nouns end in S. The backpack belongs to Charles. Charles is a singular noun that already ends with an S. To make Charles a possessive noun, simply follow the same rules. Add an apostrophe and an S to show possession. Charles's backpack. The cage belonging to the gerbil needs to be cleaned. The cage belongs to the gerbil. To show this ownership, add an apostrophe and an S. The gerbil's cage needs to be cleaned. Gerbils is a possessive noun. The sunglasses belonging to the kitten are shiny. Kitten is a singular noun. An apostrophe and an S are added to the noun to show that the sunglasses belong to the kitten. Keep in mind, nouns can show possession and ownership. Use an apostrophe and the letter S to make singular nouns possessive. Remembering this rule will help you express your ideas clearly when writing.